My name's Liana, welcome to Feeder Tribe. Okay, it's a wild, <laughs> wild Friday. So on Sunday, I went to an outlet sort of store that I don't normally go to. It was a bit of a hike to get there, but we went. So I'm going to show you that now, and then we'll come back to present day. But that is included in this two week shop. Here we have 12 jars of peaches in coconut water, 12 tins of cream of chicken soup, 24 tins of spaghetti and their larger tins. They're, I don't even know what they are, 530 grams each. Three of these pizzas, there's three for $10. Um, Jack's already taken them out to put them in the oven for the kids' lunch. 12 large tins of pears in juice. I got 12 little tins of pink salmon because it was six for five dollars. The disposable masks were a good price. I grabbed a box of those. A huge packet of basil leaves. 300 grams of basil leaves. We use quite a bit of basil, so that's good. Couscous got two bags for five dollars these are a treat for us all to share rock candy we got some of this when we went to where was it uh, coal creek once so that's just a little treat garlic granules sweet paprika and smoked paprika it was three for ten dollars so that was really good lemon curd to put away uh, I got two of those, it's two for five dollars. I love lemon curd, that was a good deal. And then these were a dollar each. I just got four of them, apricot nectar, that's the one I do, apricot chicken, which I only do a couple of times a year, so I just got a few. And then this was three for five dollars, gherkin spread, so um, one for our cupboard and two to go back in the pantry. This was two for five dollars and there's ten in each, so they're sort of like treats for the kids. And then this I also chose for the kids as a treat. There's six in each. They're wagon wheels. That's also two for five dollars. Twelve tins of pear juice. That sounded nice to have. Twelve tins of creamed rice. We probably use three tins per dessert for the kids, but that's just something good to have put away. And twelve tins of corn and peas. I do buy tin corn, but I don't tend to buy tin peas, but I just thought it was a good deal. And we will use it. Sugar soap cleaning wipes. I thought these would be really good for wiping down walls. So I grabbed a couple of those. These were only $2 a pack for the microfiber. So I grabbed three packs. This was two for 
three dollars i think for sticky tape we go through so much sticky tape with the kids and then these pill dispensers there's two of them in the pack for a dollar and i thought that'd be good for vitamins for myself and anthony and then i got these were a dollar each so i just grabbed some two brushes and these were uh, i think two dollars fifty a packet if that maybe even cheaper and they're like extra soft and really small so i thought they'd be good for kids three packets of garbage bags hopefully they're good quality quality they look good quality and i thought we'll always use them and then three packets of band-aids for five dollars i've got two with the various shapes and then one fabric and then four sensitive toothpaste these were only like a dollar each and then these were only a dollar each the seed all kids so and i really like that brand so that will be great that's a good stock up of toothpaste for them we go through toothpaste so quickly though and i got six packets packets of super dupers for eleven dollars so under two dollars a packet that was really good and they're slightly more unusual flavors but they're not those what are those ones that i would not get the like sour. The sour yeah there are sour ones in here so they're not that they're still nice so i've got those and i also forgot to show you these i've got three of these hair brushes because it was three for five dollars so my little girls have one each and then that's josephine's layla's got a blue one and this one can just be for the little boys to, sh to share some whatever <laughs> we can, can't have too many brushes around here and then these were all a dollar each so that's fabulous Wait, what's this one? Oh, this is yours. Yeah, my blue hairbrush. There you go. Thank you. And then, do I have anything else? Oh, yeah. I got three, uh, four pairs of bamboo business socks for Anthony. They were only $2 a pair. I thought that was great. And then I just got two smallish bins. One is for the kids' bathroom and one is for just the top of the stairs we have a change table at the top of the stairs that's what i'm trying to say so as you can see some pretty good deals there okay i wanted to grab some more oats and uh so this is a box of six packets so it works out to be a good deal because it's about ten dollars lots of eggs how many eggs is this so this is 120 eggs 120 eggs I got two of these. I got uh, a bottle of the normal size. What are they like? 500 or 600 ml waters. They're in the car. A pack of 30. I just like to have some disposable water bottles in the car. Uh, and then I got two packs of the baby ones. Isaac asked me. Usually I say no, but they were on sale. So I just grabbed those as well. Two packs. I don't know where the other pack is. So it might still be in the car. I grabbed a three pack of the Ajax kitchen spray stuff. <laughs> I love Ajax. That's good. So anyway, it's not spray and wipe. It's just called professional kitchen. Yeah. Anyway, that should be good. Haven't tried that before. The main reason I went to Costco is for their Christmas wrap. They haven't had it the last two times I've been. I actually called them a couple of days ago and they said they did have it. And uh, it was a bit difficult for me to get there until today. I didn't call them again. I just crossed my fingers and they had it. So I actually got three packs. This is like the only I really like. A traditional um, sort of wrap I don't like all those gaudy ones no offense but I've like this that's semi gaudy but it looks nice when it's loud. <laughs> anyway it's more of your traditional it's quite elegant this wrap I think and very Christmassy I like that traditional Christmas feel about things so I was so happy to get my wrap, I get this every year. I've gotten it every year since Costco opened in Australia, which was, I don't know, at least 12 years ago now. So when I saw the last two times that I went and that they didn't have it, I'm gonna be honest, first of all problems, but I was starting to panic. So got my Christmas wrap. Okay, so I'm doing the Woolworth shop two day, no, a day late. Um, this way, um, it's a two week shop. But anyway, um, so we're sort of out of bread. So I grabbed a couple of loaves of bread as well as two three litre milks because I actually made up some powdered milk yesterday. I didn't drink it. I don't know what it tastes like. But anyway, Daniel drank it in his bottle, didn't he? He didn't complain. So 
the orange juice that I get uh, each time I go to Costco. There's your orange juice, Jack. <laughs> and then their broccoli was on sale, four dollars off, which was really good. So I grabbed not one, but two big bags of broccoli. I should have probably grabbed more, but you know. And the chicken nuggets were on sale. This was $15 something for two kilo, which I never, ever, ever get chicken nuggets. This is their chicken breast nuggets, so it's like proper chicken. <laughs> so it's got that going for it, but um, it'll probably, this will probably be a, like a really easy kid lunch one day with lots of kids at home. That is very convenient to have on hand. And then I love their dried plums. They're so soft um and they didn't have them last time so i was happy that they had them this time frozen blueberries are a much better price at costco than in woolworth so it's good to get them there a smooth skippy for the kids a crunchy skippy for anthony and a huge box of kleenex tissues eight packs that worked out to be less than two dollars per box so that was worth it toilet paper and then a really simple dinner, garlic bread. And these were on sale. A twin pack of uh, quiche, and it's got lots of veggies in it. And so I got two twin packs, so $11 something each. So for a huge family, $22-ish, plus five bucks of garlic bread. Pretty much that's what a meal costs if I make it myself. We didn't get salad stuff because we were in a real rush to get back to pick Jack up from school. So, um, but I justified it by the fact it's got veggies in it. <laughs> so I've got a sleeping baby on me. She was not happy in the car. We went to pick up our fruit and vegetables from my mum's because we get them delivered, but they don't deliver to my immediate area. Still makes a lot of sense for us to get them delivered to my mum's. And there's a delivery at the door right now. <laughs> it's all systems go this morning. Thank you, Jack. Jack, could you please pop that on my bed and close my bedroom door? Thank you so much. Okay, so it's that time of year. I also shopped briefly at NQR, my regular outlet store, a couple of days ago. I was out at an appointment, just popped in there and grabbed a few things. Uh, I didn't film it because you know, it was like a Wednesday evening. <laughs> um, but I can sort of show you a couple of the deals. I got only spent 40 something dollars. And I got three of these uh, packets of meat pie shapes, three for two dollars. That was good. We also got one more box of these K Time bars. So that's five smaller boxes for three dollars. Got one more thing of coffee beans, they were $10, that's really good, grabbed that. I got this packet of Red Seal uh, hot or cold brew tea, had five different types in it. I tried the orange and turmeric this morning, it was really nice. But this is my favourite tea, because especially this time of year, I like to put it in water. It's just tea bags. And I don't know how much this was at NQR, but I grabbed it. Packets of Croskets were only a dollar, so I think I grabbed four of them. I also grabbed just two of these packets of protein, coconut and nut bars for my husband to have his quick breakfast when he's running extra late or extra busy. <laughs> and I grabbed three more of these Doritos sour cream and chives. It's not focusing very well, but they were 30 cents of a, a jar still. Okay, I've got my hands free now. Isla does not like the car. She hasn't had to be in the car much this year, of course, and so she's not used to it. Um, we have no... I got four 12-packs of yogurt, like a kid yogurt. They were a dollar a pack because they were used by that day. We just used them that day and the next day, and they were fine. And the kids just went crazy with yogurt, so that was fine. They were, yeah, a dollar a pack of 12. That was crazy. This one was... 12 small pouches oh it's strawberry custard yum for three dollars that's just a quick one snack for my kids and then i've got three boxes of eight of these and we had one each last night they were used by yesterday so we're going to finish them up today chocolate orange custard recommend this it's so amazing oh my goodness it's so rich though also, we were out of butter when I went to NQR, so I just grabbed this. So today, we picked up fruit and veggies from my mum's house, and then, as we got home, our groceries from Woolworths 
arrived as well. I had a couple of kids home to collect them if they arrived while I was out, but they didn't. So, first I'll show you what I got at Woolworths and then I'll show you the fruit and veggies. Okay, no rhyme or reason to this. I've just plonked everything everywhere. So, three large blocks of butter. I actually ordered a cream cheese and they've given me a light ricotta. I ordered a regular cream cheese, so that's a bit bizarre. Anyway, I'll use it, that's okay. And then two light sour creams because we tend to just need it at some point during the two weeks. I haven't planned anything with it though. Uh, two blocks of cheese. These were half price, so I grabbed two of them because my kids love them. It actually worked out cheaper than, usually I just get a tub of cream cheese and then we put chili sauce on. Um, but this worked out cheaper, so there we go. <laughs> um, these were half price, so I just grabbed two. That's like one snack for my family. MCT oil, running low, grabbed that. I think that was actually half price, or at least on sales, so that's good. Baked beans, grabbed six of those. So because we have still have lots of freezer meals for our dinners, I haven't had to buy meat. So the money I'm saving there, instead of just not spending as much, I'm actually putting it into buying more long-term storage stuff. So eventually we actually start saving money on groceries because we shop out of our own pantry but at the same time we also have stock for a rainy day and everyone knows this year proved that there can be a rainy day. In line with that these two jams will probably just be for more long-term storage. This is something that I don't really let people eat very often but it's nice to have some. This I grabbed for this was on sale so I just grabbed it for my kids to try a cream cheese spread tomato sauce we have a massive thing of it but i thought i can just put that in storage and we just use this immediately and then pen i i ordered four of these and they only gave me three so that's all right so it's sort of we'll probably use two we use two for one meal and then i'll just put the other one in storage these pancake and pikelet mixes were only like under a dollar a bag so i grabbed four of those i thought we could try them maybe try it probably have two for one meal and then i'll just put the other ones away these are delicious these are under two dollars for six and so i just buy them up <laughs> i got enough for our family to have a couple of snacks during the two weeks uh, fruit mince pie tis the season almost <laughs> these were half price and as you know these are my favorite teas cold brew tea this is the blood orange it's my favorite I grabbed two boxes of those because they were half price. We're actually, we've been using those paper towels I got. This one is to put away. I'm assuming everyone's watching all of my shopping hauls and they remember everything about my paper towels. <laughs> okay, we ran out of milk a couple of days ago and we I had some uh, milk powder so I did make some up and so now that's open and we'll have to use it and I got this to replace to put away in storage. We use a bit of this for sort of like a uh, sort of like a quiche slice um so i grabbed another box this will probably do at least one of those this fortnight they're just really simple and good for this warmer weather that we're getting because we're here in the southern hemisphere of course hershey's chocolate bites i thought this, these are really and these would be american i don't know why the packets are so small <laughs> these are small for australian standards Anyway, so I thought I'd get enough for the kids for two Saturdays. On a Saturday morning, I let them have a, a fun breakfast cereal. But this might only do one Saturday morning, but that's okay. Because we've got pie clip mix. I grabbed some ice cream cones for fun. To go with some ice cream, obviously. Wheat biscuits. I said to someone I would give the prices. I'm failing to do that, and I do apologise. These are like... But it's very hard because... The Australian dollar is very different to the US dollar, for instance, so it doesn't really give a good clear indication of what things would cost in America. So the Australian dollar is about worth about 70 cents American. Um, so if I said that this was about $4, you could say, okay, so that would cost me $3 in America. However, our whole system is very different. Like our, our wages are different and everything is different. So not really a clear indication of what it's costing to us if that makes sense okay three uh, so four <laughs> can't even count this morning four lots of cream for coffee once anthony and i anthony and i switched to cream in our coffee we can't go back to milk now it tastes like it has that farmy flavor <laughs> 
just does that make sense? <laughs> Eight three litre milks for my lot. And I don't know if that'll get them through the two weeks, but we've got powdered milk. Ew. <laughs> Then I grabbed a huge thing of oil because it was on sale. It's three liters of olive oil and I hope it's good. I'm sure it's fine. It's really awkward to use these huge ones, but it was a really good price. Four bottles of soda water. If you don't call it soda water where you are, you know, it's just sparkling water. And we put some lemon juice in there sometimes, or I just have it by itself. It's just nice for warmer weather. And then just one lot of these pre-diced frozen onions I find them super convenient um, two lots of ham sandwiches two four liter tubs of ice cream for the two weeks I was thinking about getting a third but I didn't <laughs> um, three packets of six meat pies by Tammy from Hall & Co she said I want to see what a meat pie looks like I'll have to show you at some point and then um, crumbed fish fillets that's just for a simple dinner, uh, probably like fish tacos, but I didn't actually get tortillas to go with, <laughs> whatever. Like fish and vegetables. And household and toiletry items. I grabbed some extra toilet paper. Uh, we got the Costco one yesterday, so I might be able to put that away. And then a box of wipes. Two lots of in-wash booster I like to use in my laundry. We tried this last time. Dishwashing liquid. We did go through the whole thing almost in two weeks, but for 99 cents, that's pretty good. It worked pretty good. So happy with that. Grabbed one and grabbed another one to put away. Toilet cleaner. Four laundry liquids. Uh, I said it last time, I'll say it again. This actually, even though they're really little, works out the most economical choice and I like the product. Then Ajax bathroom cleaner. You know, I'm really getting into all the Ajax products. I like the scent. I like the way they work. So I thought I'd try their bathroom cleaner. Uh, I grabbed some more laundry spray for stains. I've still got some of this, but this was probably, it was half price. So I grabbed some. And then shampoo for the little boys. Bubble bath for the little kids more vitamin C this one's sugarless the kids love their daily dose of vitamin C so <laughs> don't want to run out of that and then um, hand pump refill a couple of packets of razors they were half price this is actually to clean shaving foam is really good for cleaning toilet areas this was half price so grab that some shampoo and conditioner for the kids bathroom I had forgotten to show you the bread. I ordered a lot more bread than three loaves and they didn't have five more were unavailable. I don't know why they couldn't substitute it. Don't ask me, but I'll have to get more bread. And I got two packets of the whole milk pitta wraps and that will be to go with pulled pork that I've got frozen that I'll put in the slow cooker and mm. then fry up and we'll have that with say freshly made coleslaw or baby spinach and tomato that sort of thing be delicious we've had it before it's amazing so i'm gonna get all these fruit and veggies out and it'll be the first time i've seen them as well i show my box trolls in their boxes <laughs> box train <laughs> it's a fortnightly box train <laughs> you're the driver oh okay cool what are you daniel take your dummy out <laughs> You're the back driver. Okay, cool. I, I actually blow the whistle. Very good. What are you doing, Daniel? <laughs> yeah? Cool. All right, let me show these amazing fruit and vegetables that I got from same place again. Best deal ever. This is five kilograms of tomatoes, and I believe it was $12. Five kilograms of beautiful apples for $22 again. Somewhere between 13 and 15 kilograms of bananas and we've already gotten into them on the way home. Um, $20, amazing. Um, and then this is Chinese cabbage, I think. And it was three for $5 or somewhere around there. $7 for five kilo of potatoes, a kilo of Lebanese cucumbers for, I would say that would have been about $5.
and some lovely zucchinis a kilo of mushrooms lovely little button mushrooms for eight dollars continental parsley was two dollars two bunches of kale they were three dollars fifty each four punnets of blueberries for i think it was two for five dollars so that's ten dollars and then it was three for five dollars of these beautiful strawberries so I got $10 worth of those. I got some blood oranges. They were like $5 a kilo and that's one kilo. But I thought that'd be nice and fun for the kids to have. And Josephine's just obsessed with vampires. <laughs> so the, here's your blood oranges. And um, two iceberg lettuces. They were like $2 each. And there's a lot of outer leaves on that, but I'll just get rid of those. This is the most enormous cabbage we've ever seen. $5. And that's the equivalent of probably two regular size cabbages and then five dollars no, for would say three months. actually i don't think it was even five dollars for these three kilo of carrots <laughs> i think someone eating an apple here and then three dollars for celery and again i got a big one and a half kilo of baby spinach for twelve dollars so that's fantastic i'm holding a baby so it's really hard for me to show everything but they have, yeah, they have, um, they have lettuce, like a mixed lettuce for the same price. But baby spinach we can use instead of various other, my kids prefer it. So we can use it in salad just as we would any other lettuce. But it's just ideal for smoothies and for also, yeah, so also for cooking. I use it just, it's just, just so versatile. So I prefer to get the baby spinach. So that's my shop for this two weeks. I will leave the totals here, but I uh, did get other things in my shopping that I couldn't show because they're for Christmas. So I have to go through and uh, figure out what the actual cost of my shop was when I've done that. I'll also leave all the information below. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. I attempt to answer every single comment. So please like, subscribe if you haven't, leave a comment, all of that. Great to have you on board. Welcome if you're new. You take care. Bye-bye. What do you think of that? Bingo! Yummy. Yummy. Bingo! Shall I cut one in half? We'll see what it looks like. Yeah. yeah. Like the oh, look at that! Wow, can we all have some? Do you think vampires like those oranges? Yeah. 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 Okay. You get the best piece with your Daniel, come and have blood orange. He's trying to get into Ava's books. And he's what? Gonna laugh. what does it taste like? <laughs> Tastes good. Tastes good? You can try some, Layla? Daniel, do you want some blood orange? Actually, I'll have one of those slices. Just be careful of pips. Mmm, yummy. Tastes like normal orange. Does it? But a little bit sweet. It also tastes like Daniel, you want to try some blood orange? Whoa, Lila, look at this. What do you think, Daniel? Mm. Is it yummy? It's delicious. My teeth have gone all over them. Huh? Mm. Is it yummy, Daniel? Is it yummy? Does it stain your mouth? I don't think it does. It's not like blueberries. Blueberries don't stain your mouth. Yeah, they do. They can stain you. Well, the, the frozen ones do. Oh. Mm -hmm.